Hello and welcome to Long Plays by Freeplay. I'm Dylan Smith and today I'm playing Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. It's a classic arcade game, uses Street Fighter characters and Darkstalkers characters. Um, and I'll just get right into it. I'm going to be trying to clear it on hard mode. It's eight stages. The enemies have a bit better understanding about how the game works. And uh, yeah. The game is a little interesting for someone new walking up and trying it out. Um, but the premise behind each character is that they all have a different pattern in the um, so-called trash that they send to their opponent. So when I clear a bunch of stuff, there's a certain pattern that's going to appear on the other player's side in terms of uh, where it lands and what color it is. I have to be pretty careful about understanding both what I've got, what they've got, and what I'm going to be doing to, uh, to mitigate anything that they send to me. Because you can take into account what your opponent's uh, garbage looks like and accordingly set yourself up to, uh, to hit him back. Because after a while, the garbage will clear into regular gems, which allows you to just totally destroy it all. Send it back at him. Just like that. There are uh, a few glitches. I'm not sure if it's a few or just the one. But there is a glitch that I'm going to be utilizing um, to do a lot more damage where I otherwise wouldn't. So every, I think it's 20, 15 or 20 pieces, you get a diamond gem. And what that does is when you place it on another piece, it clears all pieces of that color that it hits. And so the glitch is when you have a, uh, a full board and you set it down in a corridor and you flip the piece uh, with the diamond after it's landed, because you get a, a brief moment to do that. Um, it will send full damage, where otherwise it would actually um, reduce the amount of damage it would send because it's going to clear all of that color. So it's pretty, uh, pretty useful, especially against the computer. So I'm going to be utilizing that uh, in a lot of cases, I'll be trying to build up a large board uh, and some combos to try and kill them as easily and quickly as possible. And so it'll look like I get into pretty precarious situations here every so often, but there's really not a lot to worry about until later in the game. So right here, that's the glitch I was just talking about. I swapped it at the last second. I managed to get a pretty good chain out of it and end my opponent right there, just like that. Pretty good RNG on that um, because I was able to build up large amounts of gems. The way you send a lot of damage in this game is by building 2x2 two two or larger squares of the same color. Uh, and it can be tricky to do if you're not getting a good pattern um, from the actual game itself. But you can manipulate things in, in such a way that it'll work out. You can clear stuff out, whatever it may be that you end up doing. Uh, generally, just trying to get large squares and uh, blow them all up right on your opponent. The more you do that, the more you're going to win. So we're doing just fine here so far. Uh, I think I'm going to put this here. Put that on top. So these circular pieces, I haven't really explained this yet. The circular pieces um, are what pop the colored gems. Uh, you have to put that adjacent to it in order to get it to explode. And I'm purposefully not using them at the start so that I build up as many pieces as possible in order to blow up as much at once instead of in small amounts. Because the more I blow up at once, the more damage I do. It's always a good idea to, uh, to pop as much at once as you can. Oops. So my strategy generally revolves around building up a lot of stuff and then popping it all at once. Which works pretty well, as you've probably seen so far. And so, I have a lot of red pieces here, which is going to cause a lot of damage when I do that. Because he had sent a lot of trash to me, but I was able to mitigate it completely by sending all of that. And I kind of want him to send more trash so that when I get my gem, my, uh, my diamond piece, I'm able to send a lot more trash. Okay, there's a decent amount. I'm not going to get a lot off of this like I did before, but it's going to keep me in the game and keep him on the ropes. Uh, the reason I picked Ken is because he has um, probably the best garbage pattern to send to opponents. Um, sometimes a character can be generally not good because 
ah, it's, it's an unsafe pattern or something. So you can see right here in all the trash I've gotten, it's red and yellow columns. Just a lot of red and yellow. Which means I'm gonna clear a lot of this trash just because of how it landed. Uh, and because I was able to get a piece in time to do that. So where things might look really bad, it's generally not. I'm actually quite safe here. As a matter of fact, I'm able to send some trash right on back, keep myself in the running here. Got a little chain here. He has a lot of red pieces on his side of the board, which is dangerous for me. But maybe I should be okay. I'm thinking I'll be fine. Fortunately, I'm not able to do the glitch here, so I'm just gonna pop blue. Try to even up my board here a little bit. Oh wow, I got him! Oh my gosh. He had a lot of stuff he could have killed me with there. And we're halfway through and chugging along just fine. I unfortunately don't have all of the character patterns memorized, otherwise I would be much better off in cases like that Donovan match. But it tends to not matter when you have a decent enough general strategy. So when you pop a piece adjacent to a, a garbage piece, it'll pop it as well, um, as long as that number is still on it, because that's how it works. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, let's see. So I have a lot of greens built up over here, and I'm just trying to keep that going as much as I can. If I could get a blue down, that would be huge, because then I could abuse that when I get my big diamond piece. Here we go. So now I got a big chain here. That's gonna do a lot of damage. And this should kill him. If she's not already dead. There it is. Got him. Those big bursts like that will almost always do your opponent in unless they time themselves pretty evenly or have a large combo to send back. Here we go, Morgan. If I recall, Morgan isn't going to be very problematic. A lot of blue on the sides, yellow in the middles. Okay. So yeah, I just keep moving on through. Uh, it, this game can either be horrendously difficult or pretty, pretty merciful. It just depends on uh, the RNG, really. Now, I did not mean to do that. But it, uh, I guess it worked out. I didn't pop any of the important stuff, really. Uh, which is exactly the important part here. Okay, this is getting a bit tricky. Oh, that might kill me. Wow! Okay, I didn't even know what she had. So there's that. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll try again. <laughs> I didn't even see that coming. Oh my gosh. But that's, that's the, uh, the nature of this game, I guess. If your opponent's moving that much faster than you, you might just die. Unfortunately. But I'll be a bit more careful next time, and I should be okay. A bit of damage there. Just keep on building. Doing just fine here. This time, at least. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll pop our yellow here. Combo that in. We should be able to kill him right there. Oh, he killed himself. It worked out. So the larger the square, the more damage it sends. So I probably just got mega comboed before. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to build that green up right now. That first attack message doesn't doesn't do anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a fun little thing, I guess, that they always throw in. They try to keep certain Street Fighter elements about the game, so I respect that. <laughs> Yeah,
So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that there. I'll do this. Should be able to pop. Yeah, we'll get blue. There we go. That was pretty good. I should have him here. If not, then I've made a mistake. Oh, he's got a lot of good stuff. Uh oh, that's dangerous. Okay, we're doing just fine. We're still doing some damage back. We got a bit back and forth here. Just trying to keep the pressure up, I guess. really want to get that. Oh, well, okay. He just loses. That's cool, too. <laughs> I was right about to, to blow up on him, too. Good old Chun-Li. Here we go. This is pretty good right here. I should be able to layer this in such a way that I'm able to just combo a lot of stuff together. But we'll see if I can do it. Um, or if I just get totally blocked by garbage. Actually, that's really good. Uh, let's go ahead and put that here. Whoops. And blam. There's a lot of damage right there. I'm not able to get that yellow or that red down at the bottom, unfortunately. Okay. Staying alive just fine here. There we go. Doing some damage and this will kill her. Without a doubt. Booyah! Hanging in there just fine. Morgan a little earlier, so I should be a bit better off this time. Let's see how I do. Now, if you ever get interested in trying out or learning a puzzle game, one of the best things to do, uh, oddly enough, is to follow what the computer does. Literally, start up a game, put it on the hardest difficulty, and just try to do what they do. And see if you can come up with something better. Because in a lot of cases, they, they do make a lot of mistakes. They'll do some silly stuff that's not as advantageous as it could be, or whatever else. Uh oh. Oh! That is really good for me to have. I'll just go ahead and pop it, I guess. Get rid of that green. Try to get up to that yellow at this point. Here we go. We'll clear a lot of the trash out. Keep ourselves in the game and just try to stack up this, this blue as much as we can. Because the more I stack up with the same color, the more she's just gonna lose. Which is great. That's exactly what we want. That's fine right there. Just trying to open up my avenues here as well. Hanging in there. Doing damage. Okay. Oh, bummer. Covered up my stuff. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta go quick here. Just kidding. There goes all that. There goes all that. All that. Okay, cool. Still in it just fine. Here's some more combos. Will this do it? Really need it to. Yes! There we go. Just fine. Excellent. So sometimes I'll try to move faster just so that I can get to that, um, the gem faster, the diamond piece. 
So I'm pretty sure Ryu has red on the left. So I'm just gonna stack up a lot of red here and see if he will... Yes, I was correct. Because Ryu just sends large amounts of columns in the same areas. And so I can really abuse that to, uh, to murder the heck out of him. And it's great. Works out great. Because you can see I already have a massive amount of, of reds built up here. And that will certainly mean death for him if I get there in time. Just gotta get there. This is fine. Uh oh. Mistakes were made! No, gosh. Oh. We're still alive, okay. We'll pop all that, bring our stack down, and blow them up. Oh! Now that's a comeback. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm hoping the rest of these don't go that uh, uh, hard, I guess. Okay, blue there. So I'm gonna stack up a lot of blue here. Because she will just drop blue there. And that's exactly what I want. Excellent. Okay, she just got, got her diamond, which means I'm safe to drop mine and blow it all up. Blammo. Oh, just killed her outright. Oh my gosh, with some to go. There's a little number that appears at the top right of everybody's board when you send garbage. Green on the left, yellow on the right. Uh, and that shows how many gems are going to get sent to your opponent. So I took a look at her pattern before uh, I got too crazy here, for once. And so I saw that she has yellow columns on the right and green on the left. So I'm just gonna build up a lot of stuff just like that. Because that will let me do a lot of damage to her. Which is exactly what I want. A tricky spot here. This is fine though. I wasn't quite able to get the glitch out, but that's fine because I still have a lot of stuff I can send her way. I should have flipped that around. That's really bad. I'm dead. I am definitely dead. Oh. Nope. Yep. Dead. Well, just not quite able to make it there, unfortunately. But I know I can do it on normal. Gosh. Sometimes the RNG just does not cooperate and you end up losing. I placed something in the wrong spot and that that was the outright thing that killed me, unfortunately. But that's okay. We try and we try again, because it's on free play, which is so nice, especially for games like this. So you can already see these, the CPU's moving way slower. I'm probably gonna make way worse moves as well. Honestly, if it's just me or not, feels like the pieces I'm getting are way more uh, easy to stack up 
in this way. So I'll just try to kill him quickly. Shouldn't take long at all. <laughs> I just, he wasn't sending me anything. It was hard to build up at that point. Yeah, sometimes what, what happened to me in that last attempt is uh, when I tried to build up, I uh, just wasn't able to, to take care of the things that I needed to, which ended up killing me, obviously. Unfortunately. But this will go much better. And I know it. Go ahead and pop the yellow, because that'll clear all this other stuff and get her as close to going down as possible. Because the closer I get to that, the happier I'll be. A little 2 chain seals the deal on that one. It's, it's amazing the, uh, the jump in difficulty between hard and normal. But I make do. I'm just clearing these things off the top, and that way I can build up as much as I can, make this as quick and easy as possible. Go ahead and pop that. Go ahead and do this, and big blast. Sends a lot more trash her way. Oh yeah, if you drop a diamond on an empty space, it will give you a tech bonus of 10,000 points. In other words, it's completely pointless. But that's the joy of it, I suppose. Yeah, she just killed herself there. So the way you die in this game isn't by having your board totally fill up. Uh, the fourth column, where you can see a little divot on the screen, uh, is what kills you. Because that's where your pieces come from. As soon as that piece of your board is filled, that's when you lose. So you can hang in there for quite a long time, as long as you have space there. It's just a matter of having your stuff set up all just right. Sometimes it doesn't work out, sometimes it does. Careful planning goes a long way in this game. Go ahead and do that. Fine. We'll clear out all the reds, because that will pop all this other stuff. Sorry for skipping the intermission. <laughs> I have a habit of just mashing through it. Bad habit, I suppose. It's always right after the intermission that the game gets uh, harder. Uh, now, in this case, it's not going to get that much harder, but it's still, you'll notice he's actually hitting things now instead of just uh, rolling over and dying. Which is nice. It's, it's good to have a challenge uh, versus nothing, right? Just going to build up all these reds here. Because why not? I'm trying to knock this guy out as quickly as possible. Just go ahead and do that. And that. Okay. He's, he's trying here. He's trying pretty hard. But he's not going to get very far. Because in the end, that happens. And then this happens. And it's over. <laughs> it's all about the setup. 
Donovan again. So there are secret characters in this game. Uh, some are really good, some are really bad. Because you've got fun fan favorites like, damn. <laughs> we're just chugging right, right along. So Two stages to go and then we're good. We move along just fine. We'll pop all this blue and then blow this stuff up. Still doing some damage, but she's hanging in there barely. She popped her diamond piece, unfortunately. Just barely got to it in time. So I just gotta build up again. This is honestly one of the harder parts of this game. It's the rebuild after you already popped everything. And that should do it. Here we go. Stage 8, and then we've got a final boss, and then we'll be home free. So we've got a big old square right there. That's gonna cause some damage. Just gotta keep it up, I guess, at this rate. Sending some trash to me for once. But this is fine. Because we will just drop right in and blow everything up. I'm going to try to get up to these blues at the top here. Try to connect it to something. Or not. I didn't mean to pop all that. She got her diamond, but she used it on a really bad piece. We should still be in there. Just takes a moment to get to the kill shot. Mm, okay, she's still alive. She brought her back. Only barely. I'm not calling it a comeback, because it's not a comeback. So I didn't explain what the number on top of the pieces meant. Um, that determines how many, that just tells you how many turns are left, or pieces you have to drop until it will uh, turn into a regular gem. There we go, finally got her. She hung in there for a while. So now we've got Dan. So Dan, you can pick as a secret character. All he sends are red pieces, which can be either insanely good or insanely bad. Akuma's pattern is random. You just have to kind of guess with him. Like literally, it, it, it only sends random pieces. There, there is no definite set of how it will send things. It's great. I hate it. All right, we'll go ahead and put this here.
Oh, I didn't need that right now. Here we go. I'll pop all that green. That'll do a ton of damage. That should kill him right there. So there we go. That's uh, that's normal mode. Clearly less stressful. And uh, there we go. So thank you for watching uh, me struggle through this. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like or a comment. And we'll see you next time.